is up and welcome back to the channel. If you're a veteran or a transitioning veteran and want to nerd out on some STEM degree topics when you go use your GI Bill, this video is for you. Today, we're going to talk about a opportunity, a scholarship for those studying in the STEM fields that could provide you potentially $50,000 or more of value. Crazy benefit. And so I think the least you could do for me giving you this value is just hit that little red subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, maybe the notification bells, and hopefully I'll continue to give you some crazy value through your VA benefits that you have earned. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, today we are going to talk about the Edith Norse Rogers STEM Scholarship. This scholarship came into play at the same time period the post 9-11 GI Bill became the forever GI Bill. Many veterans get out of the military and decide they want to go pursue something in the STEM fields. If you're not familiar with what STEM is, it's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Typically, those programs are pretty credit heavy. So fewer and fewer people are able to get out of those programs in the standard four years. These programs are often often over 120 credit hours, maybe five years. Who knows? Maybe it might take some people six years. These programs are awesome and likely going to give you a prosperous and fruitful career uh, that you'll be able to make some good money on. But the reality is, is that that GI Bill may not cover your entire program. If you're starting to do a STEM program, you need to budget out your benefits and make sure that you have enough to get through the program without taking on some crazy amount of debt like all the other jamokes that didn't join the military. So basically what the Rogers STEM scholarship for short provides veterans, those that are eligible and those that are awarded the benefit, it provides them nine more months of their GI Bill or $30,000, whichever comes first. That's just for the actual tuition. That's not actually including the BAH and book stipends. So when I say $30,000, if your BAH is significant, it's like I said earlier, might be a $50,000 value. All right, so let's get into eligibility. There are three routes for eligibility here. Route number one is if you are currently enrolled in the undergraduate STEM degree program or a qualifying dual degree program. The specifics for route number one are as follows. You are enrolled in a qualifying undergraduate STEM degree program that requires at least 120 standard semester credit hours. 120 credit hours for a semester system is basically the standard bachelor's degree. If you're getting like a communications degree or a, uh, a psychology degree or something like that, like 120 is kind of the minimum to get your undergraduate. Once you start looking at the STEMs, you're maybe looking at like 130, potentially 140, something like that. So that's why the STEM scholarship here is so critical if you're doing a program that is in excess of 120 semester hours or 180 quarterly hours. The second specific detail for route number one is that you must have completed at least 60 standard credit hours or 90 quarterly credit hours toward your degree, meaning you have to show you have committed to the program for some time. You can't apply before this. So if you are, if you're like maybe just got out of the military and you're looking to an enroll in a STEM program, but you're just starting, you're not going to be eligible for this program yet. You have to show that you've been committed to this program for some time. So, you know, 60 credits, that's like two years at least that you're showing that you've committed. You've actually done like the basics of the STEM degree and you have proven that you can get through those courses. The third part of route number one is that you must have six months or less of your post 9-11 GI Bill available to you. This is actually one that is across the board a requirement. So if you have more than six months of your post 9-11 GI Bill left, you will automatically get denied for this scholarship when you apply. So that's why it's critical to ensure that you're checking your balance of your post 9-11 GI Bill benefits before actually submitting the application for this scholarship. Route number two for this scholarship's eligibility. You have earned a post-secondary, also known as undergraduate degree, or graduate degree in an approved STEM degree field, 
and you are enrolled in a covered clinical training program for healthcare professionals. So I got to be honest, while technically this scholarship is not eligible for graduate degree programs, I have reached out to the VA to get some clarification on this because I don't know who the heck is going to have an undergrad or a graduate degree in STEM field and want to go backwards in order to do some kind of healthcare profession. So I sent out a message to the VA. They're going to get back to me. And if you want to make sure and to understand if you can use this for maybe medical school, PA school, anything along those lines, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and follow me on Instagram to make sure you get that update. So the specifics for route number two, if you're looking at the healthcare professionals field, these are the specifics for that. You must have earned a qualifying degree in a STEM field, whether it be graduate or undergraduate, you must have already earned your degree. You must have been accepted or are currently enrolled in a covered clinical training program for healthcare professionals. Like I said, I'm looking and trying to get more specific information about this to make sure that it does work for medical school and PA school in those graduate level medical professional courses. Lastly, you must have six months or less of your post 9-11 GI Bill remaining already discussed. Route number three for eligibility. You must have earned a post-secondary degree in an approved STEM degree field and are working toward a teaching certification. The specifics for this are as follows. All of these must be true. You have earned a qualifying post-secondary degree in a STEM field and have been accepted or are enrolled in a teaching certification program and you have six months or less remaining of your post 9-11 GI Bill. So this is for people who maybe they studied engineering and they want to go become an engineering professor. So you need to go get a teaching certification or some kind of certificate saying you can go teach what you have based your career on and your knowledge on. So if you want to go back to school for a couple months to get that certification, this is what the scholarship would be for. You might be thinking that the STEM topic might seem a little bit broad and like technically psychology is STEM, so on and so forth. You might be thinking like, how can I wheel and deal this opportunity? But the VA has kind of locked in a, a list of programs that you can use this for. The programs that the VA has identified are programs in the agriculture science or natural resource sciences, biological or biomedical science, computer and information science, and support services which if you don't know already, check out Vet Tech. I got a video above, also below. I'll link that. If you're interested in computer and IT, Vet Tech is also an awesome one to look into. Engineering, engineering technologies or engineering related field, healthcare or healthcare related field, mathematics or statistics, medical residency, undergraduate only. Honestly, I don't know what undergraduate medical residency is. So like I said, VA is going to get back to me because they don't even know. Uh, and we're, we're working on that. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and follow me on Instagram for that update when it comes. Physical science, science technology, or technicians. So that's kind of a, a list of what the VA recognizes as STEM. And they expect you to be in those fields if you are going to be applying and receiving this scholarship. There is some fine print associated with this scholarship in this program. It is important to know that the priority of awarding the scholarship will be given to those veterans who have 100% of their GI Bill benefit. This means that you, if you were a guardsman or a reservist and maybe only received 60% of your GI Bill, you will not have the same priority as an active duty member who received 100% of the GI Bill. But that's not to say you shouldn't apply. The other priority will be given to those that require the most credit hours. So if, you know, you only need 123 credit hours to finish your degree, but somebody else needs 150, they're going to get the scholarship, not you where like you're just barely squeaking by. You should just squeeze it into an extra semester. So keep that in mind. You know, don't necessarily don't stretch out your college education with the expectation of receiving this. If you're kind of teetering that line, you could still get it done in four years. The second part of this fine print, which is a little bit disappointing, is that while you are using the Rogers STEM scholarship, you cannot use it with the Yellow Ribbon program, which is a huge bummer because depending on where you're going to school, uh, that means that you might still end up with a little bit of debt 
when finishing out your program. If you're not familiar with what the Yellow Ribbon program is, it's freaking crazy and like just massive. I mean, it's a massive opportunity. So check out that video linked above, also linked below. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Basically, a recap, you must have burned through some of your GI Bill in order to show that in order to apply for this. You must have six months or less to apply. And if you apply with more than six months of your GI Bill remaining, you will get denied. So just wait. If you guys want more information about this program, I'm going to link down below to the VA website where they provide basically all the same information I just gave you. And if you want to apply, that link will also be below. They will get back to you within 30 days of applying, which is grant. What? Hold up, hold up. That's actually just what the VA website says. They say a lot of things as far as how quickly they'll work. So no guarantees on the 30 days, but they claim that they will have a response to you in 30 days from when you apply. But if you do qualify and you are ready to apply for this program, definitely, definitely, definitely apply. And let me know in the comments that you did apply because I'm always stoked to hear when these videos actually make a difference in veterans uh, and pursuing their opportunities, their programs. Let me know. I like knowing when you guys uh, find good opportunities here because it gives me reason to keep these going. And if this video provided value to you, don't miss out on hitting that subscribe button below and checking out other videos on the channel because there's some serious money available there. Peace out. See you guys next time.